All right, everyone, welcome back to Let's Go with Lex and G. I'm Jeffrey Drum. I'm Lex Levy. And I apologize for the hiatus over the past several months with no content. It was Ramadan, and then we were in the US to get officially married. And we've been dieting extremely hard over the past four months, so we haven't really been out to eat as much. We've also been reevaluating the direction and the content here on the channel and we're going to be focusing more on international travel related content moving forward with some huge surprises coming up later this year. Tonight we're out here in Zamalek, which is a little island in the middle of the Nile River for some nightlife on the Nile and pizza. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's, let's go. go. Or Yalabina. <laughs> Yalabina. <laughs> let's go. find the restaurant okay so we're looking for a specific restaurant this is our second time here in Zamalek the first time we were here we went to Zuba which is a great local Egyptian food we'll probably walk back that way um, on the way back through but we need to cross the road so we'll show you how to cross the road in Egypt too <laughs> basically just go for it let's go Other side. If not. Uh, okay. So it is crazy out on the streets at night in Egypt. I mean, it's exhilarating. You'll hear noise constantly, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, cars going by, people are out, so very, very late at night. The nightlife here is one of the things that I fell in love with about living in Egypt and being in Egypt. So we're just basically gonna walk around some local streets here, get some food, and kind of show you the area and what it's like to be out on the streets at night in Egypt. <laughs> for two years now and you just get used to it at some point it stops to be stops being so loud and annoying and it just kind of disappears into the background where you don't really notice it as much um, thankfully our street is relatively peaceful where we live relatively peaceful we got a pack of wild dogs yeah minus the dogs <laughs>
Oh, it's actually on this side of the street. in the mirror there. <laughs> What's up? So what are we eating tonight? We ordered margarita pizza and yes. you got a hoagie roll. Yes. And a sandwich? Turkey sandwich. Turkey sandwich. Exciting stuff. You had three today already. But this is supposed to be a really good <laughs> pizza restaurant. I highly recommend any rating. And then that? No. Oh, I was just going to say take a look around. Yeah. Is Art Deco style. <laughs> yeah, real like old school diner vibes in here. It smells really, really good, and I'm very excited to be eating some pizza. And then we just mapped out our walk on Google Maps. So we're going to take you again. This is kind of an island city in the middle of the Nile River. And what is that out here? So there's a bunch of embassies. It's an international hotspot. A bunch of expats live here. It's a trendy little area. And yep. A bunch of restaurants on the Nile. Yeah, so that's where we're gonna go basically through the middle of the city and we'll walk up to the Nile River. Riverside? Side of the river? Yeah. And then uh, we'll show you all the restaurants and stuff up that way. And it's a full moon. So that's going to... Yeah, pretty, pretty to close see. to the full moon. So there was an awesome full moon view. <laughs> I'll give you one later. <laughs> Our parents watch this. <laughs> Yeah, it looks pretty damn good. Um, it looks thin and crispy, which is unusual for Egypt pizza. Normally it's just a floppy mess. It actually looks pretty damn good. Finally. That looks awesome. Nice undercarriage. Of course, we're still going to do food ratings, but just branching out to some other stuff. This pizza immediately reminds me of something, and I'll tell you what it is. Ooh. It's hot, yeah. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for, <laughs> for the final rating. We do last bite rating, so as opposed to trying to do a rating off of the scalding hot first bite. You gotta let it sit and marinate and then do the rating off the final bite, so stay tuned.
What do you have here? So, I mean, pretty basic. Uh, turkey sandwich, which, yes, it is my fourth turkey sandwich today. We went to uh, it's true. No our cap. favorite little breakfast spot in Mahdi. And I have a turkey and cheese bagel, a turkey and cheese sandwich, and two acai berry smoothies. Good day. It's tasty. Is there cream cheese in there? There's two kinds of cheeses. Bread's kind of sweet. It's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mason Thomas, 1922, counter diner vibes. That's cool. Pretty much exactly what I was expecting after looking at the menu. So we also figured out exactly what this pizza tasted like. And they were the old school, like 90s Tony's yeah. frozen pizzas. As soon as I took a bite of this pizza, I had flashbacks to like, playing GoldenEye 007 on Nintendo 64 and eating these frozen pizzas as a kid. Uh, so we gotta do a rating. Rating, of course. Or should we do what we like and we don't like? We gotta rate it. Okay. We gotta rate it. It's only fair. We gotta have an international rating scale. Well, again, it, it incorporates the pizza from the US. No more, no more cushion these Egyptian pizzas. <laughs> too nice. We've been too nice. Too much sweet. Too much sweet. All right, so <laughs> you want to go first? Your rating for the pizza, Lex Levy. Hold on, let me see. We're testing out some new gear here. <laughs> oh! Right, the lighting apparatus. All right. So review for the pizza, Lex Levy. 3.5. <laughs> I didn't taste the thing. Holy shit. <laughs> Sorry. It's three and a half. Sorry. 3.5. I tasted cardboard. Does that mean? Bird. <laughs> um, I was going to go somewhere in the five range. We'll give it like a 5.2. For nostalgia. For nostalgia purposes. Uh, sandwich. I don't know, like a 4.9. It was some bread and cheese and turkey. But that being said, we're, we've been starving. So anything with cheese on it and bread is really, really freaking good. So it was exactly what I was expecting. Not disappointed whatsoever. Still a fun start to tonight's adventures sure. here in Zabalik. Um, all right, so now we're gonna walk up the street and then we're gonna head toward the Nile River. This light is too much, I think. Here. I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Stop! Oh, it's strong. All right, yeah, so the dark is better. All right, so let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this oh, is so cute. This is, this is another highly rated restaurant down here. Which maybe we should have picked the highly rated restaurant instead of the diner, but uh, o O's Pasta. Um, if anyone ever comes to Zamalek, this is another highly, highly rated restaurant. O's Pasta. All right, let's keep, we'll walk back up the main street and we'll look at, um, 
my name yeah fatima what's your name all right so our fake arabic names <clears throat> so we've been living in egypt for two years and it's just easier to introduce yourself with an arabic name so my name is ahmed yusuf and her name is what's your name fatima lazuli fatima lazuli <laughs> those are pretty good but this is fatima Cute. All right. So what was that? They have KFC here, by the way. They love it. Yeah, I was gonna say Egyptians. Egyptians love their fried chicken, but who, who doesn't? But yes, they do have KFC here, as you can see. The KFC billboard. Oh, one dollar. <laughs> 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 gourmet back there which is our favorite grocery store since we're doing travel and lifestyle content Gebna. Gebna is Egyptian for cheese. Sadiki, shukran. That's about it. Yeah, figs, chicken, eggs. Anyway, you get the gist of it. life in Egypt. It's awesome. Shukran. Mm -hmm. Smells like weed. So, we, we don't smoke, but they don't have the plant marijuana here, but they do have hash. And it's, you can smell it all over the place right here in this area. It smells pretty good. <laughs> It's 
start with a little trash cat. Oh, little buddy. And we still have our other channel, Egyptian Trash Cats, where we take care of probably 20, 20 street cats that live near our building. And we also have like three dogs, three or four dogs that come around. Oh, shawarma! Man, that shit looks so good. Shawarma. Yeah, that looks really good. Probably better than what we had for dinner. More shawarma, more shawarma. <laughs> So there's like four or five, five shawarma places in a row. Kitir is the word for too much. So kitir shawarma, too much shawarma. I think we're coming up on a place where we're going to turn. This is a pretty small little island and you can't you can't really get lost. I mean, you just walk across the whole thing and you come to one end of the mile or the other. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is it. All right, so now we're off the main road. You good? I'm good. <laughs> you gotta keep your head on a swivel here. Yes. No, uh, I'm It definitely helps to pay attention when you're walking around. Because <clears throat> it can be very, very busy. The combination of foot traffic and cars and all the other vehicles. Hi, buddy. Nice looking kitty. Mr. That's Kent. a real nice kitty. Hey, buddy. That's sweet boy. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you waiting for your friend? Yeah. Someone's feeding them. Yeah, those are well-fed cats. <laughs> I love these bodegas. So they call them supermarkets is literally like a bodega you know all kind of snacks and drinks and cigarettes everything you might need <clears throat> all right
It's actually pretty cool. Something you don't see too much around here. This one's good. That's pretty good. I like it. All right, so now we're off off of the main road. And these are juice shops right here. All kind of fresh juice. I see it. So asir is the Arabic word for juice. Faka is the word for fruit. So asir faka is fruit juice. Smoke shop. <laughs> They're everywhere. Tobacco use only. Wait, they have cigars in here? Oh, cigar gold teeth. Cigar gold teeth. Here, hold this. Jeffrey needs to replenish his supply. Shisha only. <laughs> Check it out. Oh my gosh, I love this car. Oh, Range Rover? Uh, Jeep. But they have nice. like all of these old cars. They have Volkswagen, I saw a Volkswagen thing the other day. Super rare. It was beautifully maintained. They have bugs, they have these old Jeeps, all these really, really cool sort of antique cars. There was a, um, what the hell you call those things? Station wagon. The big boat of a station wagon parked on the side of the road the other with the night. Wood pan yeah, panels. with the wood panels. Prepping and cutting prickly pear. And absolutely worthless. I don't know if you see that there, but that's the moon. Prickly pears are absolutely worthless fruits. More seed than there is fruit. Yeah, and the seeds are like inedible. Um, I think you'll agree that here on these back streets. It's actually quite nice back here. This is, uh, other than the crazy, hectic scene on the main road, I'm sure you can't really see shit back here. But, um, let's see what this does. I'm trying to walk around here with this glaring light. We do have the lighting thing on the camera, but I'm not trying to walk around like blinding people with these lights. <clears throat> oh yeah. More shawarma. <clears throat> if we stay out for long enough. So this is how you know the shawarma place is good. If they have a big a big thing of meat on the shawarma stick, it's probably no good, but
All right, so you get the gist of it for now. All right, so we're gonna keep walking through the neighborhood. I'm hungry again. Yeah, me too. So we may... Let's get another snack. Yeah, find another <laughs> place to go eat. It's just cheat day today. And then back on the plan tomorrow. Oh, uh, you can't see shit here. Ah! God, it's blinding. But that doesn't really help. <laughs> Alright, we made it to the destination. So we're now on the north western corner of Zamalek on the Nile River side. It's so beautiful. And yeah, it's really nice. Check this out. They light it all up. And this is just a nice little stretch of cafes and restaurants and we're going to see if we can find a spot to get a good shot of the Nile as I oh check it out check it out Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> so for anyone that doesn't know, shisha is like tobacco with molasses and um, it's packed in here right now, so we're gonna try to find a quiet spot to not film everybody, but. The Nile River, yeah, the boat over there. <laughs> That's cool. So we want to go on the little boat. Um, but we're just going to keep walking around and see yeah. if we can find a good place to actually give you a great shot of the Nile River. Hold on one sec. All right, well, that, well, that worked out pretty good. So where are we? We're right on the Nile. Check it out. <laughs> That's so cool. Everyone's cruising. Smoking shisha. So they have all of these big boats out here that have been permanently anchored. And they turn them into like restaurants and cafes and you know, kitschy little tourist spots. Um, this guy right here coming by is a Faluka boat. It's okay, just film it. Just film it. Okay. He's trying to get us to go on a Faluka ride, but I really just wanted the good vantage point to get a shot of the Nile River. Would you swim in the Nile? Why would I want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> now, if we're talking about somewhere <clears throat> in Upper Egypt on the Nile, don't put that on. It's going to blind, blind me to death. Um, this light is so bright and it looks like I have a toupee with my mohawk blown in the wind. Turn up head. My turn up head is <laughs> as one of my YouTube commenters on my other channel, Land of Chem, said I said I had a turn up head. It's beautiful. <laughs> um, 
So now, would I swim in the Nile River? If we were somewhere in Upper Egypt, yes. Would I swim on the Cairo area <laughs> of the Nile River? No, I'll, I'll pass on the, uh, I don't know, whatever sort of river, river born bacteria I would get in my body. All right, a pretty awesome shot yeah, of the this Nile is River. Cool. Yeah, everybody's out here smoking shisha. So, shisha is a combination of tobacco and molasses and they put a bunch of artificial flavorings in a lot of them or you could just get the original stuff but obviously shisha is super popular i can smell it, it smells amazing um the artificially flavored ones are pretty nasty smelling but what flavor would you choose see i wouldn't do the flavor i don't like the artificial flavors i would just smoke the tobacco and molasses as much of a tobacco smoker well i'm not a tobacco smoker i'm specifically a cigar smoker as much as i love smoking cigars I've never smoked shisha before. Living two years in Egypt, but I never had shisha before. So we're gonna keep walking around, but this is just a perfect spot. So now we're Nile River. I don't even know if I can get that out correctly. Nile River nightlife. There we go. Oh, and this guy's, see this dude on the boat? Oh, he's coming rowing. The, yeah, there's a guy on a rowboat coming up here. Okay, which way is the current? So the Nile River north. runs south to north. So technically, the current is going in this direction because we're on the north corner of the island That's right. it doesn't look like that though it looks like it's going this way but that may just because of the wind but we'll see if we can get a shot of this guy rowing up on the rowboat I wonder oh what i the see hell some doing. fish down there yeah well, oh shine them with the light there's a ton of fish oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> I dropped my GoPro. I wonder if they're attracted to the lake. Look at his red belly. There's actually a shitload of fish down in there. And believe it or not, a lot of people still make their living on the Nile River. Um, here we go. Yeah, so these dudes coming by in a rowboat. They've probably been out fishing all night, pulling fish out of the Nile River. Isaiah Sadiki. Pretty cool. <laughs> it's recording. Recording, recording. It's all right, let it go. Oh. Just cut it. All right, three, two, one, go. All right, everyone. That is it for tonight's triumphant return to Let's Go with Lex and G. Woo! We just finished at the, what, Bucharest Cafe or whatever, the place with the Feluca boats. Very local spot. Everybody's hanging out, drinking chai, tea, smoking shisha. I think we were the only white people that we saw tonight here in Zabalik. Food was okay, but the uh, nightlife experience was great. Lex Levy, any closing words for our viewers? Stay tuned for our, <laughs> we got a big adventure. Yeah, a big adventure. Way. Lots of things coming up <laughs> later on this year. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to Let's Go with Lex and G for international travel and adventure related content. A lot more than just food reviews coming up here soon. Thank you all so much for the support and we'll see you next time <laughs> <laughs>